Sussex is dumb stunned as U.S. Amendment Constitution forbids Lily from the princess title. The most shocking news now is the Harkles called their own children Prince and Princess. Claim they invited the King and Prince of Wales to a christening at their home not Meghan's dad and family I suppose, along with Tyler Perry. But they didn't come. Then surprisingly the same day Ngozi Fulani claims she has a recording device of the incident and wants a public apology from the BRF. They are setting their kids up for bullying, ridicule, and humiliation by doing this. Both of their children are American citizens. Their parents have already guaranteed they will never have a real place or relationship with the working members of the British monarchy. Who is supposed to be impressed by their children's titles? I won't say all Americans, but I'm pretty sure most, couldn't care less. No one is calling them by those titles, unless the Harkles demand it of their staff or others in their employ. It just screams desperate grasp for attention. No title of nobility shall be granted by the United States, and no person holding any office of profit or trust under them, shall, without the consent of the Congress, accept of any present, emolument, office, or title, of any kind whatever, from any king, prince, or foreign state. Article 1, Section 9, Clause 8, The Constitution of the United States the Constitution's prohibition on titles of nobility reflects both the American aversion to aristocracy and the Republican character of the government established by the Constitution. The clause thus complements other constitutional provisions, most notably the 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendments that prohibit invidious governmental distinctions between classes of American citizens. The Articles of Confederation and many Revolutionary-era state constitutions contain prohibitions of titles of nobility and other systems of hereditary privilege. If your children are being raised as U.S. citizens, hiring Megan, they're not entitled to use those titles to claim privileges. And guess what, neither are you. You want to be called the Duchess? Then head out to a country that will do it because insisting on any United States citizen to do so violates their constitutional rights. Same goes for you, Ginger. Once you start off, take your kids back to the UK, and by the way, no one is paying for your security. Upping the ante on yourselves and find yourselves a big old target because you're effectively creating a bigger and bigger risk around yourselves. These two have officially sold their souls to the devil. Child 1, while being part of the royal family, we shall give him a name as far away as possible from anything resembling royalty because we the Sussexes, are different. We're smarter, better, we're enlightened, we're modernizing this place. Our child will be free and not a slave to tradition. We don't want titles because we're above them. Child 2, after abandoning the royal family, our child will be named after the most respected, longest-serving monarch of the entire institution, synonym of royalty all over the world. Not only that, we're stealing her personal nickname because we're intimate with her. We're her favorites. She tells us about things that she can't tell anyone else. We demand titles for both our children because we want them to follow in the tradition of the institution that's a racist empire 